Hello, everybody. It's me, Tony Ward with Evolution Travel, travel agent training specialist. Today, I want to talk to you about something so simple that it's kind of difficult for some people. Today, we are going to talk about understanding time zones, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the time zones in the United States of America. There are actually, because there are 24 hours in the day, there are actually 24 different time zones, okay? So, we're going to talk about the six that are in the United States. So you guys get your pen and paper. I know this might seem like common knowledge to some people, but for others who don't travel regularly or to some people who are just getting started in the industry and you're sending your clients all over the country, all over the world, this is something that you really need to brush up on. One of those basic, basic, basic skills that can help you to excel in your business, okay? Now, super simple for us, for those of us who've been working in this industry or who have been traveling around the world for quite a bit of time. But, you know, people get confused. You know, can somebody please just tell me what time it is, you know? If I'm traveling from California to New York, or if I'm going to Hawaii, or if I'm going to Alaska, or maybe I need to go to Michigan, or maybe I need to go to Colorado, what time is it? How does that correlate to what time it is at home? If I'm calling a client, that lives in New York, but I live in California, what time is it gonna be there for them? You know, you wanna make sure you're not calling somebody at four in the morning or at midnight. We wanna make sure that we understand the time differences so that we can not only qualify our clients, we can respectfully uh, talk to them about whatever it is they need um, because that one client that you call at six in the morning is not gonna to wanna to book their Disneyland tickets with you if you have woken them up in <laughs> their sleep, okay? So let's learn about these time zones so that we don't get confused. Super basic, you guys. You know, understand what's PST, what's EST, what's CST, OMG. Somebody help me, right? <laughs> we need to figure this out. So yes, yeah, so let's talk about the time zones. And for this particular training, we're gonna focus on the time zones that are actually in the United States. Of course, the time zones are, um, you know, affected worldwide. So if you have a client in, the, in London or Moscow or Tokyo, of course the time is gonna be a little bit different, but if we can just get down the time zones here in the US, it'll be super easy for you to be able to calculate times in other countries as well. So let's kinda, you know, bring it on home and figure out and focus on what the time zones are like here in the United States first, okay? Now the first step to mastering the time zones, of course, is to know your time zone. Where do you live? What is the time zone where you are, right? Do you live in Nevada? Are you in Colorado? Are you in Oklahoma? Are you in Georgia? What time zone are you in? So let's take a peek at this map really quick, you guys, and figure out exactly what time zone you're in. Now, I'm in California, okay? So I am in the Pacific time zone area. If you can see California right there, you'll see this is orange, which means it's the Pacific time zone. Okay, so if somebody I'm speaking with lives in um, Wyoming or New Mexico, you know, or Utah, they're actually in the mountain time zone. So they're actually an hour ahead of me. The blue time zone right here indicates the central time zone, right? So I know one, two, they're actually two hours ahead of me if they're in central standard time. A portion of Texas is actually in mountain time and some of it's in central time. Same with Nebraska, Kansas, South Dakota, North Dakota. You know, so sometimes part of the state will be in another time zone. Now listen, um, on the East Coast, EST, Eastern time zone, you'll see that these states right here that are yellow are all in the Eastern time zone. Now Hawaii and Alaska are a little bit different because Hawaii actually, because of the daylight savings time, and they don't actually participate in it, can be, you know, three hours or two hours behind uh, California or Pacific, or five hours or six hours behind um, the Eastern time zone. So let's go and see how exactly this works, you guys, okay? So let's, let's for an example, um, it's one o'clock PST, so it's one o'clock here in California, okay? So what time would that mean it is in Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast? If you're in Pennsylvania or uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, or of course, Detroit, my favorite place um, on the East Coast, where, what time is it gonna be 
in the Eastern time if it's one o'clock Pacific. Let's figure out how to, um, let me show you how to figure this out, okay? So, if in the orange, Pacific Standard Time, right? Pacific Time Zone, it is one o'clock. Then I would have to add one hour to get the time for the mountain time zone. I would have to add two hours to get the central time zone. And I would have to add three hours to get the eastern time zone, you guys. Now, if it's Hawaii or Alaska, depending on what it is, Alaska is one hour behind me. So it actually would be 12 p.m. in Hawaii, 12 noon, right? And then Hawaii, I'm sorry, in Alaska, 12 noon. But in Hawaii, it would be two hours behind. So it would be 11 a.m. Um, in Hawaii, right? Because right now, because it's daylight saving time. So this is how the time zones work. So what time would it be, you guys, if it's 1 p.m. in Pacific Standard Time Zone, California, what time is it gonna be on the East Coast in the yellow? Exactly, you guys got that right. Give yourselves a round of applause. You are exactly correct. It is 4 p.m. on the East Coast if it's 1 p.m. on the West Coast, okay? Let's try this again, but this time, let's try it on the East Coast. So let's say we're in Detroit, because there's a lot of us in Detroit, you know, so let's say we're in Detroit. What time is it gonna be in California? Detroit is on the East Coast, as is New York City. So let's see, if it's 9 p.m. on the East Coast, the way that works is you're gonna have to subtract the time going back to the West, right? So for Central Time, you're gonna subtract an hour. For Mountain, you're gonna subtract two hours. For the Pacific, you're gonna subtract three hours, right? If you're in Alaska, you're gonna subtract four hours. Going back to Hawaii, it's gonna be either five or six. Again, depending on if it's standard uh, daylight savings time or not. So, if it's 9 p.m. on the East Coast, what time is it on the West Coast? It's going to be 6 p.m. You just subtract three. Super simple. Now you guys are like, oh my goodness, is that easy? I had no idea it was just that easy. It is that easy. So if you see something that says, we have a meeting at 9 p.m. EST, and you live in mountain time, you know to subtract two hours. So that meeting is going to be at 7 p.m. at your house in your location, okay? So this is an example right here, Pacific Mountain Central and Eastern. This is how it works, you guys. If it's 11 a.m., 11.30 a.m. Eastern time is 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So make sure if you're calling a client and you need to talk to that client at 8.30 a.m., and they live on the East Coast, but you live on the West Coast, that means that you need to call that client at 5.30 a.m. your time to get them at the 8.30 a.m. time for them, okay? This chart just kind of simply lets you understand exactly how it works. If you live in Central and it's 8 p.m. and you need to talk to your client at 6 p.m. and they live in Pacific, you know to call them at 8 p.m., right? So this is a, an example. Make sure you understand this. Practice this with your kids so that they can, you know, understand how time zones work too. Um, and understand that this time zone situation has a lot to do with the world revolving around this axis you know, uh, in the solar system, right? So that we can all be on the same time, when, uh, time wave, number one. And number two, helpful hint is that since there are 24 hours in the day, there are also 24 time zones in the entire world. Okay, and here in the United States, we actually have six of those time zones. So 24 time zones in the entire world. You guys, make sure you understand exactly where you are so that you can communicate with people in other parts of the world effectively um, and respectfully. So you know what time it is when you're actually calling them. I know my phone rings at four o'clock in the morning sometimes, three o'clock in the morning sometimes, and they don't understand that I am in California, so maybe I should wait a couple hours before I call Tony because she might be asleep at 4 a.m. Who knows? So basically that's it in a nutshell, you guys. The world is in your hands. Know what time it is everywhere so that you're able to um, help everyone with whatever it is they need to have help with. Communication is key. Um, and knowing how to communicate effectively is definitely something that um, is an asset to your business. So this is how you understand time zones. You guys have a beautiful day. I'll be coming to you again with another one of our basic trainings with Tony, okay? So have a good day, everyone. I hope you now understand time zones in the United States. I'll see you all at the bank and at the beach. Tony Ward, signing off.